So the Druids, first they would call themselves Druids. That was the way by which the people were calling them as a sign of respect. That means honorable, wise person, as wise as an oak tree. Tree, dru, wid, wisdom, the same root in English and in this ancient language. The actual Druids, they call themselves Druids naturally, they call themselves Keldanes. Kele de, the servants of the divine, the servants of God. Also, Kele, the same root as Hir, K and H are common, are the healers of God. Not the one who heal from God, the one who heal God, mm -hmm. protects God. Kele is a system of love and of shielding in the same time as well as of healing. Here is for my roots. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the, you, you, you mentioned in your writings, and that's what I'm drawing from, the um, shamanic um, training and I'm going to say meditative training. Just a little bit, if there's any kind of hint you can give me about some of the training that you went through as a young man. Well, this is not shamanistic in origin, or there is a major difference. Whereas the shamans in their totemic aspect always embody some form of an animal, the ancient Kildian, the so-called Druids, were having a transference upon trees. Mm. Trees. Mm -hmm. That was the actual totem. That's why I'm forbidden to eat vegetables, for instance. I'm not supposed to eat anything that helps us breathe, like a leaf. Trees mm -hmm. and fruits, yes, fruits are the gift of the tree, but not the plants. I have no problem with people eating plants, even leaves, as long as they treat them with equal respect as an Eskimo killing a whale or an American Indian killing a buffalo. Mm -hmm. And then everything is fine. My initiation was more than initiation, it was acroamatic, it is a term that exists in English, means directly from the world of one to the ear of another, pure oral tradition, <coughs> and it was mostly ethical, first to break down any possible trace of ego on me. I'm just a servant. I practice uncontrolled healing, uncontrolled love, and uncontrolled justice. It is also a hardening initiation, you have to be extremely hard, and not being confused also, you have the powers of playing God, but you don't want to interfere with the divine will, which is very hard. So everything is ethical, ethical about justice, about being fair, about not being pervaded by glory, money, power. You say in American, power is corrupt, absolute power, absolutely corrupt. I got absolute powers 15 years ago in Europe at 12 million worshippers. I was making a lot amount of money. I've never been corrupted. I was living extremely simply. All the money was sent to Africa, save the dying children, to the American Indians, to Israel, where I saved the Royal Eagle of Israel, the Osnia. When I took care of them, there were only two living specimens, and today they are by the thousands above the Negev and the Golan. All that was part of my initiation this breaking down of any drift of ego, of power, and always to serve with equal justice and humility. But it has been a training uninterrupted from the age of before I was born to 18 years old, twice nine, and that's only at 27 that I was actually a full-fledged heir of my family. <coughs> 